everyone, this is Johnny Bushcraft of Ventura Bushcraft. Today is a very special day. We are going to Lake Piru, California in Ventura County. Also, I'd like to do a full review of the Becker BK9 knife. Also, we're going to try to start a fire with just logs, no kinder, no cotton balls, no birch bark, no anything like that. The 126 eastbound, that's what we're looking for. That will take us to Lake Pyro. And we'll just follow that road all the way past Fillmore until we find Main Street and we want to make a left. There's a little gas station there on the left and uh, go through the little city or little town of Pyro and then up to the lake campground area. And it's a really nice area cool place to go camping. There's an olive grove up there that was owned by a gentleman who when passed away. Uh, he uh, deeded the land towards the county so that it could be used publicly as a campground. So it's a really cool location. Lots of wood up there. And we're going to see if the lake is any good. So here is the 126. We've just merged Hi, onto... Cocos. How are you? Ready to go camping? She's my camp dog. So this is the 126 eastbound. And we're making a left on Main Street. And this will take us up to Lake Piru. And this is the last market you'll see. Piru Market and Liquor. Piru and rifle and pistol range. This is Coco. She's a chug. Half chihuahua, half pug. This is the campsite area. Well, it's on the left. On the right is a boat landing. Let's go check that out. And it is $20 a night to stay here. $2 for dogs and $2 more if you want electricity. They have electricity. If you have an RV or something, you can come here, look up to the electricity and have electricity all night. Here's the Lake Pyro campsite, and I'll do a quick once around. But it's got over 200 campsites. Some of them you can have power for $2 a night, and it's $2 for each dog you have, or animal, I guess. There's the mountainside, and these are all olive groves. It's actually really warm today. 
March. tree wood is actually really good for cooking as is olive oil right there the camp post and that's it that is the campsite okay. so right now we are here at site 105 at Lake Pyru recreation area and you're asking about some hikes and other things to see in the area if you were to go down to the main intersection from the campground there's a fish cleaning station right in front of you and there's some parking right behind it if you were to park there, you can walk through Oak Lane and then Lower Oaks. Those are all dry campsites, so no hookups. And then also if you wanted to, you can walk down to Group Camp 1. It's a group campsite that's also all dry. It's a nice wooded area, nice and trees, secluded. And from there, there is a path that goes through, which normally you would have lake shore right there, but how the lake is so shallow. It's not there anymore, but it's a nice little walk. It takes five minutes. It'll get you to the Lower Oaks, and then also there's a little path that will get you up to Group Camp 2, which is another group campsite, but they are a little more divided, so they could be individual campsites. And you'll be on the back side of the Day Use Park, which has a bunch of pavilions, a uh, playground for kids, horseshoe pits. Yeah. So, uh... Tell me about this uh, Blue Point area and the abandoned campground. campsite. Well, Blue Point is an abandoned campground. I'm not sure when it was last used, but it is still able for visitors to go and visit. Um, all you need to do is go to the like day use or dog park. There's some parking there. And you walk up the road about six miles. It should take about two hours each way to get to Blue Point. What is that, Ben? I would Field normally mouth? think it would be a ground squirrel, but it looks too small, so I think it might be like a mouse of some sort.
Okay, this is the Becker BK9 Bowie Knife by Becker Knife and Tool Company. It's made in conjunction with the K-Bar Knife Company. Made from 1095 Crovan carbon steel with a very comfortable fiberglass filled givery handle. There are no hot spots on this handle. The blade is five millimeters thick, one and seven eighths inch wide, and nine and a quarter long blade with an overall length of 14 and 3 quarters of an inch. It's a fixed blade, full tang, skeletang handle. Clip point. High saber grind. 20 degree velvet cut comes razor sharp from the factory and has superb edge retention. The balance is slightly forward. Great for chopping and weighs in at 1.05 pounds. I can chop with this knife for hours. It's so light. It's got a Stabilistab thumb ramp, a trapezoid pummel, with a lanyard hole and comes in right around 100 bucks. I like the sheath. It's a 17 inch black nylon sheath with a small pouch and space inside for a Remora BK13 knife right in here. It's got a Kydax liner and a Velcro button snap belt loop. Simple, light, and handy. I like it. In the pouch, I have a half inch ferrocerium rod for lighting fires and I believe it's six inches long. I think it's by the Eric X company. You get two for like $17 and some change. Put the orange lanyard so you don't lose it. Throw it out. You can find it. Also orange lanyard on the knife itself. It's not just for visibility but Forget great grip retention. Also on my sheath I put this extra orange lanyard made out of paracord in case you need a little extra paracord. Also, mason string. I believe this is 100 feet of mason string. I use the, this for my tent and tarps, and in high wind, it does not break. I also have this little 50 lumens flashlight. I think I got it at Walmart for like 10 bucks. It's really bright. And it's a knife sharpener. I don't normally generally use these knife sharpeners, but there's a way to use them to get your knife sharp in case you know, like you hit a rock or something. It has sharpening stick for serrated blades, but also this can help you straighten out your edge. It's got a fine and coarse setting. And basically the way you use this is you want to do it lightly. You don't want to really bear down because you'll rip the metal off. And then you'll have a jagged edge which is not sharp. You always want to follow through with a leather strope if you can. So I carry my belt. Let's strope it with your belt for about five minutes and it'll become razor sharp again. The knife itself used to have a black powder coating paint but as you use it it wears off 
and it looks really bad. Also, it could rust. So what I did was I stripped the paint with some stripper, soak it for a few hours, and then you just scrape the paint off and you give it a good wash. And then what I have on here right now is the apple cider vinegar patina. I soaked it in apple cider vin vinegar for about two days. And you don't have to boil it, boiling is faster, but I just soaked it. Now what this does, it puts a layer of corrosion over the surface so that more corrosion can occur. As long as it doesn't touch the oxygen, it won't rust. But as you use it, you'll have to patina it again, keep it well oiled. On the handle, I put barbell grip tape, which really helps for the grip. It is a very comfortable grip, but this barbell tape really helps. The orange lanyard, again, is good for visibility and grip. What I like about the handle is you could remove it with these three Allen screws and three bolts on the back side. And then you can actually literally use it without the handle. It's, it's stable enough where you can use it like that. Uh, this paracord tied to the end of the saw to round up any wood. Hey, this is a good workout. Just up the hill. All of it's some hard wood. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. That's good wawa. Wow. You need the wawa.
First thing I make when I make a camp is a good strong baton. but bigger than I should be cutting. What the heck?
best I could do with this hard wood. you enjoyed this video of Lake Piru and the Becker BK9. Please click like, share, and subscribe to see more videos of cool outdoor places in Ventura to go camping, hiking, and bushcrafting. I'll try to put out one video every week at a different location in Ventura County with different products to review. I right, thank you.